Hello YouTube, JP here from Organic Book Reviews. And I picked this box set up on one of my Facebook groups that I'm in. The guy was selling it for half price, brand new, and I was like, you know what? I'll just pick this up and put it on my shelf as like a little display to make my bookshelf look pretty. And one day I was just randomly in the mood to read some manga and this was the first thing I thought of. And I was actually surprised on how good this story was because I never heard of about this manga before and I was like um, you know what let's give it a try and I got hooked <laughs> right in the first book so um, let's take a look at this box set the front uh, here is Claire she's the one of the main characters of the story Claymore and on the side here you have a picture of a, a sliced up Yoma I think that's what the monsters are called in the story they're called Yomas and um, other, other names like Abyssal Ones and all that good stuff. Here's the back. Uh, Claire again with her little Claymore. That's the six shot. And then we have another side. And this is one of the um, Awakened Ones. He uh, looks pretty badass. He was pretty badass in the story. Alright, so there's that. Okay. Now we're going to open it up. Hopefully no books fall down on me. Alright. Here is the opening of the box set. You have uh, pictures here. I'll let me move my camera a little bit so you can see. So you have a little picture here on the side. I think that's clear. Hopefully I'm not wrong. And so this complete box set, it has 27 books. I was a little bit overwhelmed because I was like, you know, this is a lot of books. but. Um, going reading through these is pretty quick. I could go through like one or two in just one sitting. It's really not that bad because usually uh, manga sets they don't really have a lot of uh, text or dialogue. It's just a lot of pictures most of the time. And then I'll go through. I open up one of the one of the pages of this book just so you can see the art, the artwork, what it looks like. So here's this. So it's black and white, normal artwork. Um, yeah, the beginning has a little bit of dialogue, but that's that's just the beginning though, because you get to actually uh, figure out the story, like what's going on. And I just felt like reading this, it reminded me a lot of The Witcher, uh, the TV series, because um, these claymores are actually mu mutated uh, females, and they get the monsters, um, they're like half monster, half, half female, and their bodies are all messed up. There is some nudity, like, but you don't really get to see it until like towards the very end of the book, because whenever they do go like the female claymores go shirtless, they'll always show you the back, like they're the back of the claymore, never the front, because they said. Like, um, there's some parts in the books where, like, if anybody saw what a Claymore looks like up front, they'll be terrified or, like, um, you, they'll make the person run away because how they look like and whatnot. And I'm not trying to get into any uh, spoilers too much, so I won't, I'll stay very vague about the story, but um, you'll find out details about Claymores and whatnot. Why why you go through this. And... The story is actually pretty, uh, a lot of gore, like missing limbs, missing arms that you can see here. And then you have this little child, Rocky, I think his name, Rocky or Rocky, being saved by a claymore. And now, like, he, uh, he wants to follow her around and be, like, um, her companion. So this is a pretty sick shot of... Uh, this Yoma getting cut in half and whatnot. So, you know, when you're reading this, it makes look it makes Claire, who's the main character in the story, look like a badass. Like, man, she's invincible. And whatnot.
20 and she does some badass stuff. Uh, uh, number 19 is so much better, so much stronger, and does all, all this other cool stuff. So it's pretty neat seeing like when you're meeting other claymores, their abilities and whatnot, and then finding out about different type of monsters. There's not only Yomas, but there's like when the Yomas awaken even more or turn into even stronger monsters. And then finding out the background of the organization and what they're really up to and if you can actually trust the organization and whenever um, uh, a claymore is becoming to if a claymore uses her powers too much um, and then she could actually turn into a Yoma because claymores are half Yoma half monsters they use their Yoma powers to um, detect Yomas and they also use it so they could be strong and hold a, a big ass claymore in one hand and, and start chopping stuff up. See right here? So this is a fragile little girl, but since they have like Yoma powers, they actually like use the Yoma powers so they could hold this big ass claymore and start slicing people up. So that's pretty neat. And so if they use their powers too much, where like they'll start becoming a Yoma and um, um, they'll have to give like their companion claymores a black card. And so what a black card is, it's basically like an invitation to get killed. Uh, for example, let's say Yoma, I mean claymore number 20 was like, and using her powers too much where like she knows if she keeps using it she'll turn into a monster so she'll let one of her companions maybe claim more number 19 like hey here's this black card I want you to meet me here and kill me um, you know so so they could die a human because they don't want to die a monster and uh, yeah so that's basically like a brief um, not a summary but Uh, a clue on what you get to read um, what what the story unfolds is actually really really good I would highly recommend this if you could find a good deal on the box set I think I bought this for a hundred dollars yeah I bought this for a hundred dollars the box set goes for about two hundred dollars on on Amazon but I'm pretty sure you could find some deals around here um, yeah so that's basically the um, Claymore re review if you like this review, let me know what you think. Please um, let me leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.